How are you going guys? This is Medic Magic doing a review on a couple of my gimbal cams that I purchased one 10 months ago and another one I purchased about two days ago. I haven't upgraded, I've just added to my uh, camera capability. So just bear with me and um, I'll show you the different cameras that I have. Just two of them. I uh, purchased the camera gimbal Osmo for the mobile and this is a great camera as you can see it's set up where it's got some arms and you've got to have the mobile to um you've got to pair this up with your dgi app and it's fairly simple but it takes a little bit of time if you don't have a very good um, wi-fi um, positioning um, it can take a little while i used to um, use it regularly down by the cafe that I frequent at, and that used to have good Wi-Fi there. Now, but the problem is with these phones, make sure you get a good upgraded phone. This phone used to uh, be a bit old in the t long in the tooth, so it was a bit old. So sometimes the battery would f go flat quickly, and and these are all the trials and tribulations that I had, um, as well as the Wi-Fi wasn't as great when I had too many apps. It was too small capability, so I upgraded, which I'll show you. Um, so it's taken me 10 months to upgrade, but it's been worthwhile. Now, when using this phone uh, with this mobile phone Osmo from DJI, just make sure you unlock the first one on the head, second one like that. right and then turn it on the reason why you um, unlock everything because you can burn out the motors so it just does a little bit of a party trick spins around looks at you like it's real and once you've got this paired up it's got all the capability it stores everything in your phone you can edit on it on your phone um, you can do different videos and it can you can choose the different videos it's very good like uh, these gimbal cams it's got left and right and up and down and it's got then it can go camera at the front it's just got a little button so you can push camera remembering if you're going to take a photo take the lens cap off uh, position around If you want to shoot forward or you want to give yourself a surf, selfie mode always push opposite to where you want to go it takes a bit of practice so if you want to go left you've got to push right it's sort of like you've got to think differently uh, there's an S SD card that you um, put in here so you can store the photographs as well as it will store here on the phone but you can take the card out and load it up on a square um, jacket that you can slide into your computer. Plus, this comes with a stand, which I've stolen from this for this one, because this is the one I'm using now. Um, but I'm getting some tripod stands, which will be great. I'm getting them this week. So you can purchase some lenses, which I purchased as well off of I buy everything offline. I just make took a photo of you, and these lenses are great. They're all good for graders, grades, so it's good for in case of washout. Um, I'll just put that in view so you can see it. I'm only new at reviews, but I'm getting better. Uh, I never used to do reviews at all because I used to be frightened of it because I leave it up to the professionals. But I just thought I'd um, take my time just to show you what I have plus a bit of show, show and tell. And so what you can do is you can turn it off. And if you look back 10 months, I've got a lot of footage there with this camera. All right. Oops. All right. 
and then lock that one in place. And that's how you put it away. So that's that camera done. It does exposure, it does uh, uh, different frames, and it does uh, uh, time lapse. I use it on top line time lapse videos, as you've seen. And uh, yeah, a good camera. I'm still going to use this quite a bit and a lot more than I ever have. I'm on a new at cameras eight, uh, eight months ago, 10 months ago. Um, so I'm only learning still, but I just sort of take the opportunity to show you what I have. See, I upgraded with the camera. Well, the camera is actually my mobile phone. It's a Galaxy S9 Plus, and it fits in very nicely. I've robbed the gear that I had for my other Osmo DJI and I've just put it on this one to show I've robbed that, robbed that and basically it comes with this stand uh, with this handle and the slot for the mobile phone so you basically I purchased that second hand but straight out the box it hasn't been used so it was quite a good buy so how this works is you turn on your mobile phone slot it in first but you must have everything stretched out to the max so the phone fits in if it doesn't it doesn't balance very well so just bear with me i'll just turn it on to swing the camera around right camera this is how quickly it is to use right video push right that's starting up that's working now and that's doing a mode forward as you can see I'll turn it around so you can see this is what you can see but if I wanted to change it Oh, before I do, that's up and down. This is 1080p phone, so it's got good resolution. That's where I have all my art gear, but I've taken a lot of my art gear away because I'm moving uh, to a bigger premises. Right, I can go up. And flick onto that. It's better oh that's right I've got to turn that off it's the phone capability so what I'll do is swap it around there you are now and then I can do that turn take that down and that just shows where the uh, TV is and that's that's the selfie mode so that's how easy it is and um, is to work um, you don't need any lenses because it's all filtered by your phone. Um, it's got a nice carry bag here, which you'll see in the um, part of the video as well. So that's quite nice. So in comparison, they've got their differences, but they're equally as good and they're, they're great. And I'll use them as a, a, uh, a kit with both of them they have uh, together because you can never get enough cameras, isn't that right guys? So I better just turn that off, save my battery. Right. And uh, yeah, that's my cameras. Um, two cameras, two different ways of using them. Um, they've got different, they got the same accessories, they all work together. Um, I'll be buying some tripods. So if you just check out, I'll just swing that around. Uh, just check out uh, my latest video. I'll have that on the end of this video here just to show what I, I picked up uh, a couple of days ago down by the lake. Um, just uh, yeah, give you an example. But they're yeah, great cameras. I'm happy with them. The only thing I would say against the cameras, or not really against, is I, they, you can pick these up with a shoe, with a tripod. And then you can screw the tripod to the shoe. Um, instead of having that 
that caper there. Bulky, I don't really like it too much, never did, but they've got new accessories. And I have to buy those accessories and I'm getting them this week. So yeah, no further ado. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, leave a comment, ring the bell, and hit that like. Uh, so thanks guys. Like I said, I'm not a real big reviewer. I only just do it every now and then just to dabble and get better. And get better with my camera work. As, as you know, we're all YouTubers, creators that we're just growing. So thanks very much guys. Thanks for um, allowing me to show and show off of a couple of my cameras. Thanks very much. How you going everyone? This is my new gimbal camera um, with my uh, gimbal mobile with my uh, S9 Plus and I've, I've picked up this uh, uh, gimbal um, handle uh, with a phone holder. Um, it was going for $80 on eBay. It was going for 30 for bids, uh, but the no bids were on it, so I just snapped it up by now because I wasn't going to wait three days to find out that I was going to be outbidded. So I took it because anything close by, uh, anything near it was $170. Um, so because this is for the DJI gimbal, so they're not your cheap ones, anything close. Uh, to $80 was for a cheap cheap one that might come from China and never turn up because so I tried to get one for $80 from China and it didn't turn up so they reimbursed me so yeah this is the top end of the park um, normally I don't take a photo of here I am um, in the next couple of weeks I'll be trying this camera out and doing a review um, so I can go live on this um, I'm just doing a video at the moment and we might get, might go live just to see how how successful it is. I don't want to shine it straight into the the, uh, the sun, just to see how it picks up. And it seems to be um, travelling along the light horizon level okay, even though the handles feels tilted. I did have adjusted. Remembering when putting these uh, phones in, these are the, probably the longest phones. Um, that with the iPhone 10 and 11 they're longer so make sure you've got it in the shooters the most distances you can to um, hold it else it won't balance properly so um, earlier today I did have it more balanced although this is not too bad now right now so I don't and it was running a bit warm when I didn't have it quite balanced um, it's all a learning curve it's all those things that people have to learn or or get told or shown on um, reviews. I'm a little girl. <laughs>